right, happy Friday. We're going to do a little bit of everything. I got some friend mail. I'm tagging, sticking on here. I did the drawing for Betty's box of blessings. So check that out, see if you won. And let's see, I got, this was from Jean's Junk and she always puts stickers on it. And there's a sticker on the back. It says, you're flamazing. So she had all these custom made stickers. And then, I don't know if she did this herself. Well, there's some more little things in the bottom of the envelope that fell out, flamingos and things. It says, thank you. I need to send her a thank you too, because like, whoop, <laughs> scared me. It's one of these, oh, let's squish the wings, you twist it. And then when you open the envelope, it goes whoop. And then there's little flamingos inside. I guess I need to hold it that way so you can tell it's a flamingo. I love this. This is so pretty. It says, thank you. Um, I absolutely love the bag. Thank you so much. It says, hey, peeps, you are amazing. Thank you so much for the treasures. Just me, Jean. Um, and then on the back, it says Jean's junk. So she had these, either made these herself or had these made for her. These are cool. I had got in my, oh, where did I get that? Boxy Charm? No, not Boxy Charm. Luxury Diva, maybe? I got a black bag that had gold flamingos on it, and I really liked it, but I knew she would really love it, so I sent it to her. So that's what this thank you's for. Oh, I just noticed there's a doggy in my room. <laughs> Snuck in here when I wasn't looking. Um, and then I also got from Sherry at Beauty Inside and Out. It's heavy, so there's something in here. It says refreshment on the back. So I would bet it's a face mask. I sent her, because she was I just had surgery and she was going through kind of a hard time, so I just sent a little card saying I was praying for her and sent her a couple masks. And this is her response. <laughs> If I send you something, you don't have to send me something back. But it's great if you do, but you don't, you know, I don't expect it. Let's see what's in here, but it's heavy. It says, sing your song joyfully. That's pretty. And on the back, just talks about the artist. And then there are, oh, this is pretty inside too. It says, blessed is the people that shall shall know the joyful sound Psalm eighty nine fifteen. Isn't that pretty? It says, believe in your dreams and embrace your faith to follow your heart. And then just she talks about how she's glad she found my channel and says all kinds of complimentary stuff about me that I won't read so I don't get embarrassed. Here's a charcoal spa treatment mask. I don't know if it's a, I think it's just a rub on one. I don't think it's a, like a paper kind. So you can, this looks pretty thick. You can get probably a couple, couple servings out of it. <laughs> and this one is a vitamin C sheet mask. So I will, I was just running out, wondering what I was going to do. I went to the post office hoping I had, I'd started a new, um, subscription for face masks and I was hoping they'd be at the post office but I got this instead so this will tide me over till the other one gets there so I will do a couple other little my usual Friday things I have this big old I haven't been doing them in a while so I have this big old stack of fun facts so I'm gonna do you a few fun facts so we're just doing a little bit of everything on this this Friday oh and Sherry, thank you so much for this. You didn't have to, but I love it. And the card's gorgeous. 
It's a myth that hair and nails grow after death. Oh, this is nice and morbid. <laughs> when the body dries out, the nail beds and skin on the head retract, making nails stubble and hair appear longer. Okay, well, that's a little... Hopefully there's something a little more upbeat in here. <laughs> the 1950s... Oh, oh, I think we talked about that. So that one I messed up about to throw away. Um, it's doubtful for that any member of the royal family has ever had to dig through their pockets in search of cash, but if the need did arise, there's a private money machine in the basement of Buckingham Palace, courtesy of Coots, C-O-U-T-T-S, Coots, Coots Bank. So they have their own ATM, but I don't know how much they need money. <laughs> You know, they have people buy things for them. I don't think they go out shopping themselves too much. Wendy's founder, Dave Thomas, dropped out of high school, but went back to earn his GED in 1993, nearly 25 years after opening the fast food franchise. He was voted most likely to succeed, <laughs> you think? <laughs> let's see, let's find some shorter ones. Some of these are super long. In 1998, a Georgia student was suspended for wearing a Pepsi shirt to a Coke in Education Day. Now that's just wrong. I mean, I'm a Coke girl, but you know, school shouldn't dictate what you drink. <laughs> The early drafts of the Back to the Future script, yo, know, in the early drafts of the Back to the Future script, Marty McFly's time machine was built out of an old refrigerator. Oh no, it's gotta be the DeLorean. Old refrigerators, eh, DeLorean's the way to go. <laughs> I'm just randomly picking some of these out. These are like off of a calendar and I'm just no dates. You know, there's one, some from May, some from April, some from June, some from July. I got a big old stack here. Uh, in colonial America, lobster wasn't exactly a delicacy. In fact, it was so cheap and plentiful that it was often served to prisoners. Wow. <laughs> Not anymore. It'll cost you an arm and a leg to get some, get a lobster dish. I don't know if it's because there's less of them or more of us. I'm not sure which. <laughs> Caribbean sperm whales have their own accents. Ha, huh. that's interesting. Alrighty, one more. I don't want to make this too long. If you have a neatly manicured front yard and an unmowed mess in the back, you've got a lawn mullet. <laughs> yes, that is so true. Alrighty, that's it for today. So we have giveaway for this that I drew that's I'm going to tag on here. I got a card from Jean and a card from Sherry that I really appreciate. A couple face masks and we did some fun facts. I hope you enjoyed it. I went to the doctor this morning but just one of them got to go every few months and get checked up when you're my age. Um no big deal. Everything was fine. Just in and out. Uh, I, what am I going to do today? I, I still have my ice cream coming. It hasn't gotten here yet. I don't know what else I have coming. I thought I canceled. Um, keeps happening to me. They make it hard to cancel and have it stick, I guess. I thought I canceled the Sips by Tea thing, but it looks like another one of those is on the way, so I went back and canceled again. I figured out what happened with the Boxy Charm. Um, I had a three-month subscription, and I canceled somewhere in that span of three months, so I'd already paid for it, so I got another box, even though I'd canceled, because I'd already paid for it. And remember I said I was going to have a secret giveaway for the boxy charm so did I already did you watch all my videos am I still going to do it you got to find out because it's a full box of full boxy charm my whole box that I got I'm giving away so figure it out figure out if I already did it or if it's still coming you have to watch and see and I if I do it it's going to be at the very end so you got to watch the whole video <laughs> 
<laughs> Alrighty, have a good weekend. Tomorrow I'm going to church to pack backpacks. Back, say that fast five times. <laughs> And then out to lunch with some friends. And then Sunday, of course, is church. So I don't have a whole lot planned for this week. Next week, Thursday through Sunday, I will be kind of incommunicado mostly because I'm going on another crafting retreat. So I will be gone from home. I might do a, like I did last time, do a, when nobody's around, do a quick little video of their projects because most people don't want to be in the video, but can walk around the tables and show you what they're working on when they're not there. <laughs> oh, I'd plan on, I'm going to try, I bought two different kinds of materials to see which I like best. One's cotton and one's kind of a nylon. And I'm going to try making a scrubby, you know, that you do your shower with. I saw a, a crochet um, pattern to make a scrubby. So I'm going to try making a couple of them and see which one I like. One's kind of like a cord almost, which is more, probably might be more like a real scrubby. The cotton ones, what I'm afraid of is that they'll get so waterlogged they won't dry out and they might get musty and stuff. So we'll see. I'm going to try them both and then we'll see if we like either one of them. Or, I mean, it's cheap to buy the scrubbies themselves, so it's not a big deal. Alrighty, have a wonderful weekend. I will talk to you all soon. Please subscribe if you haven't. I do unboxings and weird stuff like this. Lots of giveaways, lots of collabs. So just come hang out with us. We have fun. Alrighty, here we go. This is for the Betty's Box of Blessings. It's a Christian woman's box. I kind of picked out what I wanted out of two boxes and combined the rest of it. It's a lot of greeting card type cards. I think there's a prayer journal, there's a CD, all kinds of goodies in there. So there's my URL. The word Jesus is what you were supposed to say and there was only 11 of you. So Let's see who the lucky winner is. Hobby Doc Bay. I love Jesus. Jesus is the greatest. Yep. Yes, he is. So I will need your address to send this to you in the next, say, by Monday. Um... I'm going to tag this on, hook this on to another video, so hopefully you see it. I'll try and comment on your comment so that it'll maybe trigger you to come look. Because <laughs> I'm doing a video, my usual Friday video, so I'm just going to stick this on that. So I hope you find this, and if not, I'll try and track you down. And congratulations. <laughs>